morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm a Michael Jackson fan. Have you noticed the music? We, every month we change the music. The last two months have been Michael, Michael, and Michael. So thank you. Good morning, everybody from around the world. Thank you for tuning in today. I want to thank Ms. Natasha Ismail, Regional Director, Ms. Regional Director, Ms. Regional Director from the Fresno area. Oh, gosh, Ms. Kinko, how you doing? Out of Japan. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And you did a wonderful job introducing me last night on the 1 through 10 last night. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Hey, Miss Belinda Batiste, thank you so much for that red top out there. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> Miss Caroline Baker, thank you so much. Mr. Chris McDonald, thank you so much. Mr. Bill Howard, thank you so much. And people are jumping in, jumping in left and right. Miss Chris T. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Miss Ismail, will you take care of the uh, incoming, the incoming, incoming? Miss Christine, thank you so much for being on the call. Miss Joyce Brewer, thank you. Mr. David Wright, thank you so much. Regional director from San Diego with the awesome biggest group down there growing so fast, the one and only Mr. Julian Lewis, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, keep my God, they keep coming in. Thank you so much, it. Mr. Julian Lewis, down there with the largest growing re organization in San Diego. Thank you, sir. Mr. Carter down in San Diego. Yes, sir. You're driving yesterday. You had your headphones on. Thank you. Mr. Freddie Sherman, thank you so much. Ms. Uh, Marcia Carter, thank you so much. Mr. Payon out in Japan. Sir, in Japan, thank you so much. Ms. Uh, Ms. Marcia Carter, that's what I said that. Wow. Okay, you got the right. Marie, thank you so much. Ms. Uh, Melissa Vaughn, thank you. Good seeing you. Ms. Celia out in Wood Woodland, thank you so much. Uh, Pat, Pat Robinson in Oakland, California. Thank you so much. Queen V in New York City. Wow, New York City. Queen V, thank you for joining us again today. My dear friend Sam Foster in, in, down in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much. Miss Tracy uh, Gilmore, thank you so much. So many of you coming on the call. Thank you so much for joining. We have a great call. I sent a text out part two from the Chicago mob. I said M M. That I said a mob. People thought it was mob. Chicago mob. No, M-A-N, Chicago man. <laughs> I love it. 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 Hey, without further ado, this young man hails from Chicago. Beautiful wife, his son, uh, CJ. Uh, he's just a great father, a great leader. And you know what? He's always there. And I'm so proud of him. He's not part of my team. But you know what? I, I, it doesn't matter for me. And you guys know that. I love everybody. But every time he comes across stage, I like to be at the bottom of stage and greet him. Uh, and just, uh, just has a heart of gold. He's always so humble. And that's something that my biggest prayer for most leaders start making and doing very well in our business on all aspects. He is always the same person and he's so humble. He comes from the south side of Chicago. What's up? Without further ado, Mr. Caesar Tapia. Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning, Mr. Thomas. It's, uh, man, your energy is, uh, is contagious, brother. It's always a privilege to be here with you. I'm just sitting here. Uh, with my son, he's listening to you, and he's dancing in the background of the music. He's getting his, uh, I never knew he had those moves up his sleeve, but I guess when Michael Jackson comes out, he, uh, he busts. <laughs> you know, uh, Mine, too. <laughs> you know, the hips definitely take over whenever uh, Michael's on, right? <laughs> uh, but you know what, guys? I'm a, man, it's honored to be here on with you all again. Um, uh, to be reinvited by Mr. Thomas, you know, um, a couple of weeks ago, I had the privilege to jump on with you guys and uh, share a little bit about my story. And I'll share a little bit again with you for those, maybe this is your first time, uh, but real quick, just kind of um, uh, uh, introducing myself for those of us who hadn't had a chance to meet yet. Um, I've been a part of ACN seven years and uh, I'll tell you over my seven year journey, um, it's been, it's been incredible. You know, I've been able to meet I'm incredible people. You know, one thing I'll tell you is not having a business background, uh, not coming from a, uh, you know, a, a family who's really talked about money. You know, we didn't really have any money growing up, to be honest. And so uh, when I got involved in ACN, I had no idea that I was going to change my life financially, but also be able to meet great individuals and uh, be able to um, have relationships with individuals like a Mr. Al Thomas. You know, growing up um, south side of Chicago, you know, I, I said it last time, we didn't really, you know, I was raised by a single mom. And so um, not having that male fa father figure, um, you know, I started hustling and I was out there uh, following the wrong examples. And so when I got involved in ACN and I was able to meet people like a Mr. Al Thomas who had that lifestyle, who had the Gucci and the Rolex and the Louis Vuitton, but did it um, uh, legally, although 
they did it illegally, you know? And so I was, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I reflect every single day. And Mr. Thomas, you said earlier, you know, the reason why I remain so humble, like, is I recall where, where I was seven years ago. You know, I, uh, not just financially. And, you know, maybe you're brand new on this line or you, you still, you know, uh, you've been in ACN for a while, but we all got our journey, right? And everybody has a day one. And I remember my day one. You know, although I was this hardcore South Side, thick skin, I was excited. I was nervous. You know, I had no business background, but being able to learn from individuals like a Mr. Al Thomas and being able to um, get coaching by them and wisdom by them, you know, to be honest, um, I had to grow into a different person. And, uh, you know, here we are seven years later. And, you know, I'm, I'm just grateful because um, not only can we live this life financially, um, but ACN has done other things for me, you know, mess. You know, we talk about having the right mindset all the time. You know, before ACN, um, I wasn't hanging with people. You know, you become the company you keep. And so now um, being a part of this wonderful opportunity, I was able to create a circle of individuals that were going to pour into me that were going to be conducive to my growth. You know, before ACN, I was hanging around individuals that I owed 10 bucks to and they owed me $10 to. And, you know, realizing if we owe each other money, that's... Um, it wasn't who of me to take advice from those people. And so I was seeking out mentorship and I was seeking out leadership. And, um, you know, John Maxwell, um, I'm a, I love reading. He says, everything rises and falls on leadership. And although I love that we're offering essential services, I love our track record. Um, but ACM wouldn't be the company it is today if we didn't have leaders like a Mr. Al Thomas. You know, I know Mr. Al Thomas doesn't have to put these calls together. Mr. Al Thomas doesn't have to muster up this energy, but you know, he genuinely likes to help and serve other people. And uh, the fact that you check on me once in a while, Mr. Thomas, you know, I'll never forget being an ETL. You know, I'm 60 days in the business and, you know, being in the, in, in the crowd and seeing all the SVPs and the COCs and the top runners in the front row and just, looking at you don't even know mr thomas i was watching you i was emulating you your jokes your mannerisms like everything you know because i was a, a student of the game and so all of those things you know i'm a representation of people like a mr al thomas so when you say i'm humble mr thomas and you give me kudos you know understand i'm just an extension of people like yourself you know so the fact that um we get to I'm including myself in this conversation. I'll get to hear from Mr. Thomas and uh, get to call him our coach and our friend and our mentor. You know, we're truly blessed and privileged. You know, we do realize that um, ACN is a blessed company, um, but there's a lot of people who join and don't maybe have the support of like the organization that you all have. And so the fact that um, we get to gather here today via Zoom, you know, I'm in Chicago, um, you know, everyone here is in the, um, homes in their neighborhoods, but the fact that we get to do this, you know, we couldn't do this um, six months ago. I not even thinking about this, right? Everything was online. I mean, everything was face-to-face. -face. Everything was like in-home meetings. And now the fact that we get to um, gather like this and, and I get to share my story and hopefully impact, you know, some of you guys today is, uh, is truly, um, truly incredible. You know, so today I asked Mr. Thomas earlier, I said, uh, what, what would you like me to cover, Mr. Thomas? I said, um, whatever's on your heart. And, uh, you know, I appreciate that. The fact that you give me an open floor to, to share a little bit about my story. And uh, hopefully what I share with you guys over the next maybe 20 minutes could, could help you in your journey, right? Can help you with those, um, um, those good and bad days that you're dealing with. Because let's face it, you know, this is a business. And uh, when I got involved in ACN, my initial goal was to make just some extra money, you know, to be honest. But when I got involved and went to the conventions and, and met individuals like a Mr. Thomas and all these other individuals and started getting my feet wet, right? My belief started going through the roof. And, uh, you know, it went from a part-time thing to, man, maybe I can make this full-time income. And sometimes things happen in your life um, that you question it at the time. But when you look back on it, it's your biggest blessing in disguise, right? And so my, my, my situation was, is, um, you know, I got involved with ACN and at that time we, you know, we were um, taking my son CJ to, um, to like different therapists, you know, he wasn't talking, he wasn't, um, you know, uh, making eye contact. So my wife and I, we had to take matters in our own hands because we weren't getting answers. And so imagine I'm a parent and, and here I am working 50, 60 hours a week. My wife's working 50, 60 hours a week. And we knew that our son needed us to step up. We didn't know how, but we needed to step up. 
And although AT&T at that time was providing for my family, I knew I needed a plan B. I, I knew I needed, and, and I was no stranger to hard work. And so um, that when I got introduced to ACN, my, initially it was like, okay, cool. God, thank you for answering my prayers, a great plan B. But once we got involved, it went from being a plan B to, wow, what if I, you know, what if I can uh, match my full-time income? You know, I started plugging into these trainings and I remember my mentor saying, you got to be consistent. You got to be consistent. And that's what I want to share with you um, today about being consistent, because I thank God every day that um, I was consistent, even on the days that I didn't feel like showing up, right? Even on the days, because it's easy to show up on the good days. It's easy to show up when you're in momentum. It's easy to show up when you have people showing up to your PBZ, when your team's plugging in customers, when your friends are sending you their bills because they want to support you. It's easy during that, right? But the, 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 I think the thing that separates those that make it and those that fall off the wagon is consistency, right? Um, you know, ACN, I talk about it. It's, it's, it's like the gym. There's going to be days like that. Where, 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 where you wake up and you're questioning and you're wondering and, and you're doubting, this is what I do know, right? Every time I show up to that gym or every time I go for that little workout or every time I do the things that I don't feel like doing, but I know I should be doing, I feel that much better when I accomplish it. You see, I realize that um, as you're building this business, you're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna go through some things, right? And I'm sure Mr. Thomas, you know, I, I've been in ACN, let's check this out, my seven year career um, is coming up. My seven year anniversary, I'm sorry, is going to be August 17th. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? And so, um, you know, we all got our things that we go through and I remember, and I want to be, you know, I want to be as open with you guys because this is real life. You know, the reason why I'm so passionate about ACN is because we're dealing with people's lives. There's some people that join ACN and they just, they want it to work. They want to make some money. But then there's people like many of us on this line, like me, who need this dang thing to work. I didn't have an opportunity. I didn't have another choice. My son CJ was diagnosed with autism and I had to step up. And so I had to burn my, my ships, right? Tony Robbins says, you got to burn the ships and take the islands. So when that happened in my business, I had to go all in. I had to go all in. And what was all in was all in was if I wasn't working, I was on lunch break, I was making phone calls. If I was on lunch break, I wasn't hanging out listening to little, little Wayne and young Jeezy on lunch break. I was building Caesars business so that way I could make residual income just like these artists were making residual income on the radio. After work, instead of going home and watching Netflix, you know, I loved, I, I was in baseball leagues, right? But I had to sacrifice that. Why? Because I knew that if I sacrificed for a season, that perhaps this vehicle could deliver the lifestyle that I wanted for my family. And what was that lifestyle? Freedom. You know, I realized, you know, I've signed up, I signed up an individual the other day. He makes uh, he does very well for himself in real estate, you know, but the reason why he loves ACN is because of the freedom that's attached to it. You see, freedom is something that you can't put a price tag on. So it's important that when you're out there building your business every day, you know, just understand that we talk talk about the emotional roller coaster. That is so real, right? If you're married on this line, you know what I'm talking about. If you have a significant other, you know what I'm talking about. If you have a little one, you know what I'm talking about. You're going to be battling things. You're going to be, uh, there's going to be days where fear creeps in, right? Out worry and fear. But that's why I'm a big believer in personal growth. Here, here's what I realized that when I came into ACN, the Caesar that I was at that time um, uh, got me to where I was in my life, right? And, and there was times where uh, my ego would hold me back from growing. My ego, you know, I, I, my ego would hold me back from, from, um, from being coachable. You know, I grew up not being told what to do. By the time I was 18, I lived on my own. I was independent. It was so crazy. I had such a big ego. I remember I got involved in ACN and I loved ACN. But I was like, what do I need a mentor for? Like, what are they going to teach me? I've got this far, in, right? And so I had to humble myself. And I realized in this business, you either got to be humble or you get humbled. You know, I see so many people. I'm, I'm, one thing I got really good at is learning from other people's mistakes. You know, I've seen top leaders and, 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 and big earners um, have big success. And then they start thinking it's, it's, it's them, right? And like Mr. L. Thomas says, you know, here's what I, I realized in his business, that when everything goes good, you give it to the team. And when things don't go good, you take responsibility as a leader. 
right? So, you know, a couple of things, you know, we want to keep our egos in check. Um, you know, you want to um, uh, be mindful that there's going to be up and downs in the, in the business. You know, when I was closing out RD, RVP, we, we, uh, it took us three and a half years to hit RVP. Um, and, uh, you know, there's some people who did it faster, slower, you know, none of that matters. You know, getting the job done is, 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 is what's important, right? But, you know, some of the downs that I had, I mean, uh, a couple months before wrapping up RVP, you know, uh, my, my grandmother passed away. How many of you guys have experienced um, a, a death or a passing of a family member? You know, sometimes we get involved in ACN and we think like life's not going to do what life does, right? Life keeps doing what life does. And so there's going to be things that you, hardships that you experience. And, 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 and what helped me stay focused during those times, you know, losing my grandmother a couple of months before we wrapped up RVP. And it was so cool because I knew that when I was on that stage, super nervous, giving my RVP, um, I knew that she was with me. You know, I knew that she, if she was here, she would have wanted me to finish the job. And so then we hit RVP and then we hit mass, you know, uh, we, we had massive momentum and we were on the charts and, you know, we're making more money than we've ever made. And, and I was just in such a great place. And, uh, you know, I remember my pastor, he said, you're either uh, uh, in a storm, um, coming out of a storm or going into a storm. Right. And uh, it was so true. What happened a couple months later, man, my other grandmother passed away. And so now here we are, you know, it, like I remember doing leaderships with my team. And this goes back to being consistent. This goes back to having integrity, saying what you're going to do long after the mood you said you're going to do fades away. And I remember doing leaderships with my team and must to do the leaderships. I knew that my team was counting on me. And so I had a way to, 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 to mourn and deal with what I was dealing with on my, on my family side. But at the same time, you know, I knew that that situation um, I could either use it of, a, of an empowering story or a disempowering story. So here's what happened. I used that story. I said, listen, um, if, if, grandma, if my grandma was here, she would want me to continue this journey. If my grandma was here, she would want me to make, do this meeting. You know, so I share that with you guys because, and you know, maybe that's a little extreme, but I'm just telling you, things are going to happen, right? Some of you may have people that doubt you, right? I, a couple of weeks ago, I said, um, my mom, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a mama's boy for sure. Um, you know, my mom doubted me, you know, and, and here's what I like. And it, it was, it almost paralyzed me to the point where I almost quit ACN. And maybe you're dealing with that today. Some of you guys maybe have a friend or a family member or maybe a spouse or, or someone you care about. And, and they're just telling you um, that, 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 that maybe you can't make this happen or they're trying to impose their limited beliefs on you. Right. But here's what I could tell you, you know, um, people are looking for an example. Right now, especially within this economy, they're looking for, like people are looking for leaderships. You turn on the news, it's crazy. Like you don't even know what, I don't even know what to expect every single day. You have all this um, uncertainty and all this uh, division and all this separation and you know, but at the end of the day, I thank God every day because you take a look at this line. We have all walks of life. We have all races. We have all religions. We have ACN doesn't care about where you come from. They don't care about your background. They don't care about how much money you have in the bank account. They don't care about if you grew up in the hood or not. If you have a business, it's equal opportunity. And so when I say things like that and I hear things like that, that gets me fired up. You know, that, that reminds me of how blessed we are to be in this position. Like, who am I to prejudge somebody during these times? Who am I to play God and prejudge them and say whether or not they're going to do ACN? And, you know, so I was sharing that with my leaders now. I said, listen, we're in the most blessed company. This is the perfect season right now. People right now have gone to bed last night praying for opportunity. That person that you're scared to call, that person that you're scared to reach out to, went to bed last night praying and looking for something. And you never know. You may have been the answer to that prayer. We don't know. You know, so um, a couple of things that I had written down here, Mr. Thomas. Um, and, and let me know, Mr. Thomas, if there's anything else, you know, that you want me to cover while I'm going through this. Um, there's a, a cool story I want to share with you guys because people watch. You, you, SW, 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 right? Some will, some wait, some won't, someone's waiting. Seven years ago, got involved in ACN. I paid my member, it was $4.99 back then. And I was feeling myself because I was an IBO, an independent business owner. I was like, 
I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an, I got my own business. I was feeling my, I was that guy that, uh, you know, when you, when you hit ETL, you got a pin. I would wear that pin to church. I would wear, man, I would wear it to sleep. I was proud. I, uh, executive, you better put respect on my name, right? And so I remember, like, have my AT&T badge, and then I tried to sneak in my ETL badge, but my manager wasn't having it. I had to take it off. But anyways, um, I remember being at work, and uh, I had to get qualified, right? You know, you know when you're trying to, like, your, your, your mentors around you, right, we got to get you qualified within 24, 48 hours. So I signed up some services. I went to work. And uh, I went to talk to my, my coworker, Kiani Moore, right? They said, talk to the people that love you the most and owe you the most. And Kiani owed me the most because I would always cover her lunch or, you know? So I was like, all right, she owes me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bank in on this favor. So Kiani Moore became my gas and light customer seven years ago, right? And so over the last seven years, and, 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 I, and I love her for that. And I've, what's crazy is I've told Kiani Moore's story for years, talking about the power of signing someone up one time but getting paid years off of her. So I'm like, here I am, man. I've been getting paid off of Kiani for like, you know, uh, five, six, seven years on her bill. And it's crazy. Um, last week, Kiani Moore reaches out to me. Hey, Caesar on Instagram. How are you doing? How's everything going? Um, she goes, hey, remember you signed me up for that bill um, seven years ago? Are you still doing that thing? I said, absolutely. Long story short, met with her, signed her up on Zoom, and it's funny because she was still my customer. So she was like, as, as she's in her head, she's like, wait a minute. You mean to tell me you've been getting paid for seven years on the bill that you signed up during the AT&T lunch break room when we were eating a hot chips and sandwich? I said, absolutely, sister. And she says, my goodness. So that right there fired her up. She started doing the numbers. She's like, wait a minute, you've made X amount of dollars off me the last seven years. I said, don't worry about it. Now we're even for all the lunches I hooked you up with. But I share that with you because, you know, I signed her up seven years ago, seven years, and she's fired up. She's plugging in customers. You know, I'm going to run her to RD. But what if I would have quit? What if throughout the journey, when things happen, I would have fell off the wagon. I would have remained consistent. You see, in, in, in our organization, we have a slogan. We say it's bigger than us. It's bigger than you. You know, um, those that serve the most make the most. There's a reason that Mr. Al Thomas makes the income that he does. Because of the impact that he has on individuals' lives. And so in this business, ladies and gents, you know, I could encourage you just to um, be consistent. You know, I ask yourself, would you follow you? Right? This is a, a follow the leader type of business. And so I've always asking myself, Caesar, how are you showing up? How are your ways of being with your organization? Because when you're in a when you're in a leadership position, you're in a glass bowl. Everybody's watching what you're doing. You know, so there's no opportunity. How often would you see Mr. Al Thomas show up on this call? You know, imagine if he started the call. All right, guys, here we go again. Another eleven o'clock call. You know, let's get no heck no, right? His ways of being got to be attractive. They got to be on point. They got to be on power. They got to be power. And then what happens is, is it duplicate that within the organization. So, you know, always look in the mirror and ask yourself, would you follow you? Um, be the example. You know, never ask your organization to do something that you won't do. You know, if you want them to get qualified within 24 to 40 hours, you get qualified. If you want them to be 10%, 20% champions residually, you go out there and make it happen. You know, the reason why we went RVP, yes, it was for me. Yes, it was for my family. Yes, I was waiting for that residual income. You know what I'm saying? But more importantly, to be the example for my organization. Now we have layers of up and coming ETLs and RDs who've watched our RVP speech. And because of the example that was set, now they want to make it happen as well too. So, you know, with that being said, ask yourself, what's your next level, right? There's always a next level. What's your next goal? And it's important. We're always setting goals. I had an RD. He just cracked RD. It's crazy, right? Um, they say going, hitting a position is just a decision. This guy made a decision to go RD in, in, in two months, two months ago, he made a decision to go RD. He knocked it out, but here's what happened. He hit RD and he took his foot off the brakes. Took his foot off the gas, I should say. Why? Because he needed a new goal. So now the goal needs to be the charts. Now the goal needs to be to help someone else go RD within your organization. So for everyone on this line, you know, what's your next level, you know, in your ACM business, in your, in your, in your, in your, in your uh, personal growth um, journey, right? In your fitness journey, because all that encompasses one. So uh, ask yourself, what's your next level? You know, keep showing up, 
keep making it happen for your family. And remember this, your team is watching you. And most importantly, I think the biggest honor that you can give to your mentor and your leader is to go out there and make it happen in a big way for you and your family through this vehicle of ACN and serve other people as well. So um, that's all I got for you all today, Mr. Thomas. I hope today um, served you guys. I hope you guys got some great value. You know, it's always, um, man, it's, it's always an honor to be here with you all. Like, especially Mr. Thomas, um, there's, there, we have a lot of COCs, SVPs in ACN, um, but just the way you carry yourself, um, what you stand for, Mr. Thomas, just who you are as a human being. We need more Mr. Al Thomases in this world. Um, and Thank so you. again, uh, on behalf of myself, um, I told my organization that I'm fired up to do this leadership with you. Um, I told them one day, um, they're going to earn it and we're going to get Mr. Thomas on one of our calls, but I, I appreciate you all. Um, thank you for being on this call and let's take ACN to a, a billion and beyond. Let's make Mr. Thomas proud. Let's make our co-founders proud. Let's make our families proud. Let's make ourselves proud. So, uh, I love you all. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. And I'm going to give it back to you, my brother. Thank you for everything. Wow. Thank you. Let's all give, let's show some love. Let's show some love. My God, that was awesome. Whoa, I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna kind of regurgitate a few things that were powerful for me that stood out. You know, last thing you said was so powerful. You must set the example, folks. Are you setting the example for people to want to follow you? If you're out on a walk on the sandy beaches and there's no footsteps behind you, that should tell you something. Be that example for people to want to follow. Have people follow you. As long as you're leading the right way. You know, he said another thing that was very powerful. Either you humble yourself or you'll get humbled. And it's so true. It's so true. He's a student of the game. Question, are you a student of the game? Number two, you must be consistent. Are you consistent on the call? Are you consistent getting people in the business? Are you consistent getting customers? Number three, ACN is like a gym. Wow. Lord have mercy. That was, I could teach on that. I could preach on that one. Number four, his ego held him back. In other words, don't let your ego hold you back. And a really good thing I got of it today was the 17th of this of August. It'll be eight year anniversary. I got that down on my calendar. So you will be getting a call from me that that's a Monday, by the way. I already know it's a Monday. It's a Monday. It's a Monday. I already checked that out. It's already on my calendar, sir. You'll be, from here out for the rest of your life, you'll be getting the call. <laughs> that's how I do things. Uh, I love the idea. He wore his ETT and pin, even the AT and T shirt at work, and he said his boss wasn't having it. See, that's how powerful he was. The one he's where he's at. He didn't give a rat's back in. He even wore it to church. My God, he was recruiting. But that was uh, right there. You just dropped the mic. Look, look, just drop the mic right there. <laughs> His slogan, it's bigger than us. So as a group, notice what they said, it's bigger than us. So many times we're individuals trying to do it our way. Frank Sinatra is the only one I know that made a million dollars off that, off that song, My Way. Have you noticed your way ain't working? So many well, long wolf merits out there trying to do it the wrong way. You wonder why you're still stuck month after month, year after year, the same position because you're too hard-headed. Listen and learn. Listen and learn. Be part of what your upline has given you. And last but not least, I'm going to go back to recircle around to this. Set the example. Are you and you and you and y'all, y'all, y'all set an example for people to follow. That's my question. Whew, man, I got, I got no check. I, I, I got, I got enough to, uh, to, to, to kind of go into depth on, on a, on a training class, just on all these points I got and four pages of notes I got. So Mr. C Caesar, thank you so much, man. You are amazing. Let's give them a show. Them a, little, a little bit more love. One more time. One more time. One more time. Thank you. 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 And do your son, give CJ a hug from me to your lovely wife and say hello, because he's out there bouncing like that. That's why I got Michael Jackson. I like to get my get the juices going in the morning. I got to wake people up. Wake up call. Wake up call. With that, thank you so much, sir. We appreciate you so much. Have a blessed day in Chicago. Well, let me know whatever I can do for you. You know I'm there for you. Everybody, tomorrow morning, we'll be back with Throwback Thursday with the great Mr. Dean Torelli. And then on Friday, Mr. Byron Nelson will be with us on Friday, follow-up Friday. And don't forget tonight, Miss Ismail is doing a one through 10 tonight, Wednesday night, Wednesday night. I think we've got a flyer. We probably should know that number by now. And tomorrow morning, we'll be back with Mr. Dean Torelli on Throwback Thursday. And he'll be with us all of August, every Thursday. So let's throw it back. 
Remember, take this information and run with it. Don't just be listening. Run with it. Look at Mr. Caesar there at the stadium there at the convention giving at his promotion. Look at that. Look at that. Is it worth it? You tell me. The question I have for you is when will you be standing at that podium? When have you put a date on it? 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 Then do it. God bless. See everybody tonight at 6 o'clock p.m. on our 1 through 10. God bless. And tomorrow morning with Mr. Dean Torelli. Thank you all for joining the call today. I hope you got a blessing. Have a great day. Bye-bye.